Hello and welcome back to the Sonic Yoga YouTube channel. Today we are finishing our Flow 2 series and we're ending with a class, um, a practice with a the theme of flowing to tree pose. So for our practice today, we're going to have two blocks for the beginning of our class. We're going to spin our legs around and we're going to start in Supta Baddha Konasana. So swing your legs to one side. Bring your blocks nice and close to you. And so we're gonna draw the soles of our feet together to splay open through the knees. If it's kind of feeling a little bit tight through the inner thighs here, you can place one block underneath both thighs. And I would highly recommend that. Draw your glutes a little bit forward and then we're gonna walk to our hands behind us to the forearms and then come all the way down onto our backs. And let the head be heavy. And place the hands wherever are comfortable. And close down through the eyes. And so for the first couple moments of our practice, let's just be still. Paying attention to your body, mind, and breath. Allowing yourself to let go of your day. And just be present here. And just begin to draw that breath in and out of the nose. Feeling the belly rise on the inhale and fall deeply on the exhale. Two more big breaths here. And then from here, you can grab the outer thighs with the hands just to draw the legs back together and plant the soles of the feet towards the ground. And from here, I'm gonna draw right, right knee in towards the chest. And I'm just gonna grab hold of that knee with the right hand. You can flex the toes towards you or let them be relaxed. I'm just beginning to begin to do some hip rotation here. So by drawing this knee into big circles using the strength of the leg and the arm, begin to do some hip rotation, really opening up here. If you find it's a little wobbly, you can take that left hand, stick it way out towards your side just to offer some stability to the body. Do one more circle in whichever direction you started in. And let's go the opposite way. Keep the steady breath moving in and out of the nose. And just notice anything that comes up, some cracks or some tension in the hips, just seeing if you can make those circles a little bit bigger. One more big circle. And let's draw that leg to center, just to cross the right ankle across the left thigh. Flex now the toes towards you. And let's invite the legs in towards the chest, interlace the hands beth behind the thigh of the left. So try and flex all the toes towards you. And you can offer a little rock side to side here. Sometimes when you move side to side, you might find a deeper space to kind of sit through and breathe through. Taking one more big breath in, then exhale, release the left foot and then the right foot towards the ground. Together from here, draw now the left knee into chest, place now the left hand on top of the left knee. Begin to draw some circles into that hip by using the knee to make big circles onto the ceiling. You can start small and slowly draw a little bit bigger with those circles. And again, if stability is feeling a little bit wobbly, reach that right arm out to the side. 
Try one more circle on this side, moving in and out with the breath. And then go in the opposite direction to that direction. You can start small and slowly get a little bit bigger or whatever feels comfortable for your body. Try one more big circle. And then let's draw that knee in towards the chest. Now draw the ankle of the left across the thigh of the right. Invite both legs in towards the chest with those toes flexing towards shin and hug the hands behind the thigh of the right. So feeling this nice stretch through the outer hip, you can stay in stillness or offer those little rock side to side to find a deeper space that feels a little bit more of a stretch to the body. Take one more inhale and then exhale, release both feet towards the ground just to hug both knees in towards the chest. Now rock side to side, hug hold of those shins. Feel that nice little massage to the low back here. Now let's grab hold of the backs of the thighs. Begin to round through the spine, draw your chin towards the chest to just rock and roll yourself up to seated. You can move those blocks way out of your space. We won't need them anymore for our practice. Swing your feet to one side and come to your table pose. So right away, spread your fingers nice and wide. Grip down through the pads of the fingers and pull the shoulder blades apart. Draw the belly in. From here, inhale, lengthen the left leg out long. Draw the toes towards you. Stay here, pull the shoulder blades apart, belly in, inhale. And then exhale, knee to nose and round. Inhale, lengthen the leg out long, flex the toes towards you and pause. Now we're gonna step the right foot towards the right to make a kickstand. Draw that left foot all the way towards the back of your mat so the inside of the foot comes towards the ground. Reach your left arm up towards the sky and this pose is called a modified side plank. So the bottom hand is super active. We're feeling a nice side body stretch here through the left side of the body. Gaze can be up towards the ceiling or down towards the ground for stability. Take an inhale, reach your arm up towards the top of your mat. And then exhale, flip the hand so you're pushing the palm through the air towards the back of your mat. Flip the palm, inhale, reach towards the top of the mat. And then exhale, flip and push towards the back. One more time, inhale forward. And exhale, push and back. Let's reach that arm all the way forward, release it towards the ground. Come back to your table pose, move your hips side to side to let that go. Draw your active table pose, pull the shoulder blades apart, belly in. And then inhale, lengthen the right leg out long as you flex the toes towards you. Pause. And then take a big inhale. Exhale, knee to nose and round. Inhale, lengthen to stay. Now step the left foot towards the left. Draw the inside of the right foot towards the ground. Once you feel stable, reach the right arm up towards the sky. So gazing up for a little bit of a challenge, gazing down for a little more stability. And then inhale, reach the arm forward. Exhale, flip the palm and push through the air towards the back of your mat. Inhale, flip the palm, reach forward to the top of the mat. Exhale, flip the palm and push towards the back. Last time, inhale, reach forward. Last time, exhale, push back. Inhale, reach way forward now. Exhale, release the hand down. Release the knee down and move the hip side to side to let that go. 
Let's spread the fingers even wider, tuck the toes, lift up and back to our downward facing dog. So fingers spread nice and wide, head is heavy, belly draws in, and have a micro bend through those knees so we can send the sitting bones a little higher. Couple deep breaths here. And then gaze towards the top of the mat, slowly walk to the top of your space. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway, and then exhale to fold. Try that again, inhale, lengthen the spine halfway, hands can come to the tips of your fingers or to the shins. Draw the shoulder blades back, take another inhale, and then big exhale to fold. Then ground down through the feet, windmill your hands all the way up, reach all the way up towards the sky. And then exhale, release your arms by your sides. So coming towards the top of our mat, have your feet hip distance apart, right underneath the lungs. And so inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward through the hip creases, release the hands towards the ground. Inhale, lengthen halfway, fingertips or shins. Then exhale, fold, bend through the knees, send the bum way back. We're coming for a chair pose, but keep the feet hip distance apart and draw the hands to heart center. So from here, draw the belly in, lengthen the tailbone back. Draw your hands to heart center, shoulders draw down the back. Find your gaze focused and fixed. And then from here, inhale, draw the left knee in towards the chest. Keep the right leg bent. Belly draws in. Exhale, draw that left ankle across the right thigh. Sit the bum back. Toes are flexing towards you. And then from here, slowly inhale, draw the left knee into chest, straighten through the right leg. Release the left hand to left shin. Draw the belly in, draw higher through the crown of the head. Let's reach the right arm high to the sky. Then exhale, open the left leg to the left. Slowly inhale, draw that left leg into chest. Release the hands to heart center. Now as slowly as you can, big inhale, slow exhale, push back to warrior one, transitioning through warrior three. Milk it guys, go as slowly as you can. Bend the front knee, step all the way back. Warrior one, inhale, reach the arms up and then exhale to stay. So in warrior one, our front knee is nice and bent, so our knees stacked right over top of ankle. Our hips are squared to the front of the mat, and try and lift through the arches of the feet to really draw activation to our entire leg. Gaze is focused, draw the belly in, and then grab hold of the right wrist. Take a big breath in to reach up towards the sky. Keep the belly active and in. Let's side bend towards the left side of our mat. So feel like you're pulling that arm right out of its socket. Belly is in to keep you stable. Big breath in. Exhale, draw back to center. Inhale, reach both arms up high. Exhale, release hands towards the ground. Plant them and step into your plank pose. Inhale, pull your shoulder blades apart, belly in. Exhale, lower down. Release the toes, draw the elbows in. Inhale, lift through the heart. And then exhale, lift up and back to your downward facing dog. Big breath in and full breath out. 
Then inhale, gaze towards your hand space. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And then exhale to fold. Inhale, follow the hands, reach all the way up. Right away, exhale, fold forward through the hip creases. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. And then exhale, fold, bend your knees deeply, send the bum way back for this wide knee child's, I mean, wild knees, wide knee chair pose. Send the bum way back, draw your hands to heart center, draw that belly in. Find a gaze that is focused. And from here, keeping your gaze focused, draw more weight into the left leg. Keep that left knee bent, draw your right knee into chest. And then exhale, draw the right ankle across the left thigh. Sink the bum back a little bit deeper. Keep the gaze focused. Keep the breath flowing. And then next breath in, we're gonna draw the right knee into chest. Straighten through that left leg. Draw the right knee towards shin. And then reach the left arm high. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, open up that right leg towards the right any amount. Feel a little bit, little bit taller through the crown of the head. Really stable through that bottom leg. Inhale, draw the knee in towards the chest. Exhale, release the hands to heart center. Now slow transition to warrior one, pausing in our warrior three. Inhale here. Slowly kick back warrior three. Milk it as slowly as you can. Plant that back foot. Release the heel down, square the hips to the top of the mat, and then reach the arms up. So find that super focused gaze. Try and lift again through the arches. Let's grab hold of the left wrist with the right hand. Inhale, lengthen, reach up, feel the stability of the core. Then exhale, side bend towards the right side of your mat. Keep the core active and in. Take a big breath in and exhale, draw back to center. Inhale, two hands reaching high. Exhale, release hands to the floor. Plant them and step into your plank pose. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades apart, belly in. Exhale, lower down. Elbows in, release the toes. Inhale, lift through the heart. And then exhale, up and back to downward facing dog. Big breath in. And full breath out. So let's take five deep, intentional breaths here. Trying to spread the fingers even wider. Let the head be even heavier. And just draw deeply back to that breath, moving in and out. and shake your head side to side. No, no, no. Nod your head up and down. Yes, yes, yes. And then let the head find stillness. Inhale, gaze towards your hand space and slowly walk the feet towards the top of your mat. Allow the feet to be hip distance apart. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Then big exhale to fold. 
Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway, and then exhale to fold. Inhale, follow the hands, reach all the way up. And then exhale, release your arms by your sides. Take a big breath in, close through the eyes. And then exhale to stay. And so opening up through the eyes, let's heel toe, heel toe, our feet closer together. So they're just right underneath our lungs to prep for our peak pose. So from here, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward through the hip creases. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Let's send our bum way back. Bend through the knees and come for our chair pose with wider legs. Hands come for heart center. Draw that belly active and in. And let's start here. Inhale, draw now the left knee in towards the chest. Exhale, cross it over the right. So that ankle is opening up, landing right on the thigh. Let's just stay here for a moment. Feeling steady and strong. And then inhale, straighten through the left leg, draw your right left knee in towards the chest. And then grab hold of that left shin. And so from here, open up through that left leg here. And then pause here, just so you can grab hold of the ankle and either place the sole of that foot towards the inner thigh or if you can't make it there, draw it towards the bottom of the shin. From here, we're trying to avoid the knee space. So either go above or below the, the knee. Squeeze through the glutes. Draw big, open rotation through the hip. Then hands can stay here at heart center or begin to reach them up towards the sky. Keep your gaze focused. Belly active and in. And then last option, stay here or reach over for that opposite wrist, for that right wrist and stretch way towards the left side of your mat. Belly active and in. Keep your gaze focused. Two more big breaths. And then inhale, reach both arms high. Exhale, release the hands to hips just to draw the left knee in towards the chest. Release it down and fold forward over those legs heavily. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold. From here again, with wider legs, bend through the knees, send the bum way back. And then draw your hands to heart center. Tailbone lengthens and belly is in. As you feel steady, draw now the right knee in towards the chest. Cross that ankle over top of the thigh and then sit the bum way back. Flex the toes towards you and just pause for a moment. And then inhale, straighten through the left leg. Draw your right knee in towards the chest and then release the right hand to grab hold of the shin. Open up through the hips just to release the sole of the foot now to towards the top of the thigh or towards the bottom shin. Again, super important to avoid the knee space. Once you've found a stable place, hands can come to heart center or reach them all the way up towards the sky. Big intentional breaths. And then the last step here is grab hold of that left wrist and then stretch way towards the right side of your mat keeping really stable through the body. Big side bend here. Take a big inhale, and then exhale, draw to center. Release the hands to hips to draw that other knee in towards the chest, and then release it down, fold forward heavily. One time, inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. And one time, exhale to fold. 
Let's lower down to our knees, move the feet to one side to come to seated, to come all the way down onto our backs. So hug the knees in towards the chest, roll all the way down. Let the head fall heavily and hug your knees in towards the chest. Close the eyes and rock a couple times side to side, just to let that go. From here, take an inhale and exhale. Release the soles of the feet towards the ground. Press into the back of the skull to draw the shoulder blades down the back. Release the arms by your sides with the palms up. So from here, you can heel toe, heel toe your feet closer together to come for Supta Baddha Konasana again on the mat. Or lengthen your legs out long, coming wide towards the outer edges of your mat, letting pinky toes fall heavy. Eyes are heavy. Take a big breath in through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. And then exhale mouth. And so now letting go of your breath. Letting go of your practice and giving yourself these quiet moments in stillness to really have the benefits of this practice. Namaste.